People say the most important invention for mankind was the wheel. I think that's untrue. I think the invention which changed mankind most of all was the clock. And to cut a long story short, in the end uh, I said, why don't you have a clock there? And the fellow said, oh yes, a clock. Yes, good idea. Yes, we'll have a clock. So I said, I'll design you one. I thought it'd be fun to have um, a chronophage which on every minute opens its jaws and on the 59th second went, ah, and ate the minute and you could never get it back. The time is displayed by a series of vernier slits and lenses. Hours, minutes and seconds. The time is 11 o'clock precisely. So that's how the chronophage came about on the outside of the Corpus Library. If somebody asks you, can you do something, don't think of all the reasons why you can't do it. Um, think of all the reasons why you will do it. I don't know what my most famous invention is. Um, I'm well known for being involved with kettle controls. I can go to any high street in anywhere in the Western world and in a shop window selling kettles, I can say, I designed that one, I designed that one, I designed the controls, yes, controls, yes. And that gives you a wonderful pleasure estimating, and it can only be a, a, a mad estimate, but there were something like two billion of these have been made since I invented it um, in the 70s. I'm 77, and I've set myself a new challenge uh, to fly a little aeroplane from the Rocky Mountains to the Isle of Man. It's an adventure, and it'll be fun. I think life is quite short, and you've got to fulfill everything that you want um, when you can do it. So don't put off anything till tomorrow, do it today. <laughs>